Welcome to the Working with Cameras tutorial for KeyShot 4. Setting up and adjusting your real-time view to accurately represent realistic camera settings is very easy with KeyShot 4. You can position your camera using a combination of mouse buttons and hotkeys, which can be referred to by pressing K at any time. The most basic controls are click and drag the left mouse button to tumble, click and drag the middle mouse button to pan, and scroll the mouse wheel to dolly. Open your project window and go to the camera tab. As you use the mouse controls, you can see the camera values adjusting accordingly. You can also use the sliders to adjust or input incremental values for more accurate adjustments. A helpful tool to use while working with cameras is the look at point. This can be selected by using the crosshairs button and clicking in your real time view on the object you'd like to look at or you can use the hotkey control alt left click to choose your look at point. Now when you dolly in, your selected point will remain in the center of your view. To add or remove a camera, click the camera drop down icon. You can rename your selected camera by typing in the text field and pressing enter. Now if you adjust your view, you can always go back to your saved camera by selecting it from the drop down camera menu. Or by double clicking on it in the scene tree. You can also use the hotkey Shift N to toggle through saved cameras. As soon as you make an adjustment to your view, the camera will be identified as unsaved. To edit a previously saved camera, click the Edit Mode button reposition, and select done or exit edit mode. You can lock any camera to disable changes both in the real time view and the position values. A locked camera will be identified by a lock icon in the real time view. Keyshot provides predefined view orientations that align in respect to the model's original import position. I find these most useful when working in orthographic mode for perfect front, back, and side views. In perspective mode, you'll most likely be working between the ranges of 35 and 120 millimeters. The smaller the value, the more dramatic the perspective. As a rule of thumb, small products like this are usually shot with a larger focal length from a farther distance. Showing a grid can act as a guide to help set up your image composition or simply to identify the center of the real-time window. While enabling stay above ground locks the camera from dipping below the ground plane.
Depth of field is used to visualize a decrease in sharpness in relation to distance. The focus distance is automatically calculated when the point of focus is selected using the crosshairs button. Decreasing the f-stop value will decrease the amount of focus. For a subtle effect, try using a larger f-stop value. In order to ensure accuracy when recreating an image, you can refer to the embedded image properties. So if we were to add this image as a backplate, We know the focal length should be set to 50 and the f-stop set to 16. These settings and features enable you to accurately recreate real-world camera views in order to truly bring your 3D models to life.